Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Haskins, Application Engineer with Capture 3D. I am back today to talk with you a little bit about skins within the Atos Professional software. If you're new here and you like my video, please don't forget to click subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any more 3D technology tips and tricks delivered by the Capture 3D team. A lot of you are probably wondering what is a skin, why do I need them, how do I use them, are there limitations to them? Well, you're in luck, we're going to be covering the answers to all of those questions in today's video. So most simply put, a skin is going to summarize all templates in your project to one parent template. A skin will save all of your label, legend, table, and report templates, as well as your project keywords and your iInspect configurations. So, with the use of skins, you can use your customized and adapted templates in any project. Uh, if you're using the free Goman Spec software, however, um, unfortunately you will be unable to customize and manage your skins. That's not a problem, just visit Goman's website to download your free 30-day trial of the Goman Spec professional software so you'll miss out on all of these awesome features. So, let's take a closer look at skins within the software. All of Goman's software are going to come with two default skins. You'll have your inspection skin and your deformation skin. The inspection skin is defined for all standard inspection tasks, regardless of the industry that you work in. And then the deformation skin is defined for all inspection tasks on deforming or moving parts. Now you'll find your skins located in the top right corner of your software, right above where your alignments are located and just to the left of the direct help search bar. So by left mouse clicking on the drop down arrow, I now have the option to switch between my default deformation skin and my default inspection skin. You'll also notice that I already have two customized skins created here. Something else I'd like you to take note of is from switching from inspection skin to deformation skin is also going to change my eye inspect wheel configuration just like we talked about in one of our previous how-to videos. So if we've made changes to one of our templates, so in this case we'll say our report template, and we want to save these changes into our custom skin, we need to manage our skins. Um, so for this example you'll see that there are several default report styles and templates laid out by GOM that they've created that come standard with the software. Um, what I've actually done is created a series of report pages because I want my company's name displayed on the report pages. So I've created a series of report templates and I want to save these changes so that I can use them in the future. I'll come up to manage skins, select the folder that I would like my skin saved in and click the save icon here. The software is going to prompt me to insert a name for the skin. And I just simply click close. So now take note that our active skin that we are in is the current customized skin that we've just made. And then also remember that skins not only save changes to your report templates, but your label, legend, table templates, project keywords, and iInspect configurations as well. I just chose to show report pages as my example because it's a very commonly used application that people like to customize. Okay, so another great benefit about customizing these skins is they can be shareable for all users on the PC if they're saved within the public folder. Or if I select my skin, and come up to this export icon here, I can also export this skin and send it to other offices so that there's a more uniform inspection company wide. Okay, so we have discussed what is a skin, how do you create, manage and save them, as well as how do you export your custom skins so that they can be shared. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below or visit our website for case studies or to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with our team. Until next time, bye.